Here's a sing a tune and story. Where has my little dog gone? It was Tommy's birthday, and a very special birthday it was, for Tommy's father had promised to buy him a dog. So the two of them went to the pet shop to look over the dogs and to let Tommy decide just exactly what kind of a dog he wanted. This pet shop was quite large, and they had all kinds of dogs for Tommy to choose from. Now this dog, the pet shop man told Tommy, has won two blue ribbons, and he is a very fine dog. Tommy looked the dog over, but decided he was not exactly right. Perhaps he was too big, he thought. And this dog, the pet shop man continued, has won two blue ribbons and a gold ribbon. But after looking him over, Tommy thought that perhaps he might be too little. And besides that, he looked rather snooty. Now this dog has won four blue ribbons, the man told him. The dog was a beauty, but still, Tommy wasn't completely satisfied. And look at this one, said the man. He is the finest of the lot. He has a championship in both Canada and the United States. Still, Tommy was not exactly sure of the kind of dog he wanted. Then Tommy wandered away from his father and the pet shop man. He was just a bit disappointed that he couldn't find a dog that he really wanted. And then he saw him. He was absolutely perfect. But the, there was one thing wrong. He wasn't in the pet shop at all. He was outside, looking in. And his wet little black nose was pressed up against the pet store door. He didn't look like any certain kind of dog. In fact, he looked like all kinds of dogs. His hair was not very long, but not very short either. His tail was not clipped. It was long and curled up over his back. His ears were really too short to be in proportion to his head. But his eyes, oh, his eyes, they smiled at Tommy. And his curly tail wagged as Tommy walked toward the door. This is the one I want, Tommy told his father. Well, Tommy didn't know exactly why the pet shop man was displeased because he wanted the dog that wasn't in the store. But it didn't matter very much because father told him that they would take the dog home, provided, of course, that he had no collar, which would mean that he didn't belong to someone else. And there was no collar. So father and Tommy walked home with Pups, for that was the name Tommy gave him. Pups was so happy to live with Tommy, he followed him around everywhere and stood at the window looking for him when Tommy went to school. One day, when Tommy came home from school, Pups was nowhere to be found. Tommy looked in all the closets, under all the beds, down in the cellar, and just about everywhere, I guess. But he couldn't find Pups. So Tommy went to the front window and looked out. It was raining, and he felt so badly about Pups being gone and probably being soaking wet in the rain. Then Tommy thought of a song to sing to keep his tears from running down his face like the rain was running down the window in front of him. And here's the song he sang. Oh, where, oh, where has my little dog gone? Oh, where, oh, where can he be? With his ears cut short and his tail cut long, oh, where, oh, where can he be? And Pups must have heard Tommy singing because he came out from under the front porch steps right after Tommy finished singing the song. Tommy
Tommy ran to open the front door, and Pups jumped right straight up into Tommy's arms. Now, if you have a dog, or if you would like to have a dog, I think it would be well for you to learn this song because your dog might not be at home when you get back one of these days and this song might help you find him. Let's sing a tune together. Oh, where, oh, where has my little dog gone? Oh, where, oh, where can he be? With his ears cut short and his tail cut long, Oh, where, oh, where can he be?